Welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures! So not so long ago, I did some Halloween cupcakes. Very spooky for Halloween. You guys absolutely love the baking videos, so I'm back with another one. But this time, I'm gonna be doing two different bakes. My first one, I'm gonna be doing a chocolate orange fudge. And I'm also gonna be doing a cherry bakewell tray bake. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these turn out. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients now, and then let's get baking. Right, so I've split them up into two sections. So we've got the section here, which is for my chocolate orange fudge. Then we've got the section here, which is for my cherry bakewell tray bake. So we've got the Mr. Kipling sponge mix. I've got some eggs, some cherries. I've got some almond extract to give it the taste of cherry bakewell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the sponge mix, put it in the tray and get that in the oven, and then decorate that and then make the fudge. Right, so we're starting doing the cupcake mix, the classic Mr. Kipling. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna put all of this into the bowl, follow the instructions exactly as it is, and then that should make a lovely sponge mix. And hopefully it rises quite well. I've never made a cherry bake or tray bake before, so we're just gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it will taste okay. And then later on, I can get Sean to taste test it and see exactly what he thinks. Now the smell coming from this cake mix is absolutely lovely and it smells so much like a cherry bakewell. Just by adding the almond essence, it's really made a difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my tin so that, that this doesn't get stuck in there, pile it into there, pop it in the oven, and then see what it looks like when it comes out. Ooh. Right, so I've made me a cuppa and my sponge is out. Now the sponge looks really good. I've put a few stab marks in the top just to make sure that it's fully cooked all the way through. But it's got a nice thickness and this sponge has come out really well. So what I've done is I've transferred it from the tray onto a plate so that it can fully cool. Once it's fully cooled down, I'll then make the icing, put all that on top and add the cherries. In the meantime, let's make the fudge. Right, so we're on to the chocolate orange fudge now. Now this is so easy to make. Fudge can be quite expensive when you go out places, but when you actually make it yourself, it's really cheap. So what you're gonna need to do first is you're gonna need to line a tin. So you're gonna make sure that you need to put a line at the bottom, otherwise the fudge will stick all the way to the bottom and you won't be able to get it out. So just line it with some grease proof paper. I've had to rip it the best that I can because Sean's hidden the scissors somewhere and I don't know where they are. So I've had to just rip it and hope for the best, but this looks okay. So grease your tin, line it, and then we're gonna make the fudge mix to put inside. Right, so when you're making fudge, you're gonna to want to use condensed milk. Don't use evaporated milk, use condensed milk. I only use one tin, pop it into the saucepan, and then we're gonna heat it up. Right, so you wanna continue stirring this until it is completely melted. Once it's all completely melted, I'm gonna add my food color in it, and now I'm gonna put it in the tray, and then pop it in the fridge. There we go, so we've got our finished result. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transport this oh, to the fridge and then that will take maybe about three to four hours to set. So we'll check back on that later. Back to the cake then now. So the cake's all done, nice and cooled down, which is good so I can get ready to start decorating. I'm just making some icing sugar here. I'm just gonna get it to the right consistency and add the pink dye to make it nice and pink. Then I'm gonna pop that onto there, pop the cherries on, then the cake's all done. So there we go, that's that all done. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the icing set for a little bit, just so that it goes a little bit harder at the top. Cut them into little pieces so they're in little bite-sized pieces, but this looks so good. I can't wait to get Sean to try these later and see what he thinks. 
Here you go, Sean. Hey, thank you very much. Well, I've been working hard while Charlotte's been uh, baking today. Uh, I've been out in the garden doing some painting, and yeah, it's coming on nicely. So we'll have an update probably next week on the channel from the garden, and also the big new shed that's starting to go up. It's looking good. Really good, yeah. Yeah, to, to keep me on earlier whilst I was working, Charlotte gave me a bit of that fudge, and it was really nice. Yeah, did you like it? Yeah, it turned out beautifully that day. Yeah, it really takes a good. long time to set, so it's just making sure that it's right before you eat. It. Yeah, I enjoyed the fudge, I thought it was nice. Uh, and the colour of it and everything looked really good. Fudge is expensive to buy. I said it? that earlier, it's very expensive. Yeah, I love fudge. Yeah, you did a good job with that, fantastic. Uh, anyway, what have we got here then? So it's a cherry bakewell tray bake. Oh, oh no. This looks good, here we go. Let's give this a try. Mm. What's it like? Oh, that is lovely. It's very fluffy and It's tight. lovely and fluffy, yeah. Yeah, like look at the inside of that, that is nice, like, mm. It's nice and thick. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Do you like it? You did a good job there. Thank you. Mm. I think I prefer the fudge still. Do you think so? that's really nice still, that. It's got the cherry as well. Mm. Tell you what, you do a good job there, Charlotte. Do you like it? When we got our theme park one day, you'll be able to bake. And people come into the shop, how about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's no, really good. I'm all sticky now. Mm. That is fantastic. You did a really good job there. Thank you. And how much did it really cost then to make all that stuff? Um, so to make the fudge, it works out as about three pounds, and then the cake works out maybe at about five pound. But some of the ingredients you can reuse again, so you don't have to keep buying them every time. So not too mm. bad. That's really good. Well done, shall we? No problem. Another nice fudge for you there as well. And uh, coming up next, we're going to be getting festive because the Christmas tree is going up. It is indeed. So there we go, the bakes are finally complete. Now the cherry bakewell tray bake has been my absolute favourite. The sponge turned out so lovely and fluffy and the almond taste was just fantastic. The fudge was also very good. I have made different types of fudge before, you can sort of change it up depending on what you want in there. But if you've got any suggestions for anything that you'd like me to bake, drop it down in the comments below, I'd love to know. So thank you very much for watching and have your own adventures. Bye!